Hi guys, hope you are all doing well and this time we are back again with another video and this time the topic is G and G2 license. Yeah, so in our previous video we had explained to you all about the G1 test which is the first step of starting with your driving in Canada and now we will explain to you all about the G and the G2. Now guys, this is the real stuff. Now we are going to uh, drive the car on the road because G1 was all about clearing the theoretical exam, knowing about the rules and the signboards. Yeah. So here the hierarchy is like G1, then G2, then G. But if you have your driving uh, extract back from your country, then you can take either G2 or G depending on your own choice. Without any time difference. So after clearing your G1, you can go directly to G2 or G. Yeah. Because else you have to wait here after giving your G1, you have to wait about six months or no, eight it, months? It's eight months. Eight yeah. months you have to wait before <coughs> going to attempt for G2 or G. Yeah. So uh, why G2 and why G? Now the question is that. So for me, I have taken G2 and I have uh, just cleared G2 right now and I am in the process of taking G. And why I did that? Because I didn't have any... Uh, um, not much driving experience I had back in my country. I used to drive very less. So I was not that comfortable in driving on the highways and initially on the road as well. So I personally opted to uh, take G2 and once I get comfortable driving on the road, I will start, uh, you know, I'll appear for G and I will do that. So G comes at the topmost level. Uh, G2 is a little bit milder as compared to G because I think G2 test is about 25 minutes, right? As uh, compared yes, to G. It's, it's 15 to 20 minutes actually and rest depends on your examiner. And how, and how G, long is the G? Yeah. G is for around 45 to 50 minutes. And they so you can you, imagine, right? Yeah. And in G2 exam, they won't take you on the highway. Yeah. They will just make you drive in the city. They will make you do the parallel parking, the reverse parking and the head-in parking and then the three-point turn as we say and then there will be the just the normal stuff like normal driving on the road as you take drive. right from there take left from yes. there change the and lanes stuff uh, like in that a G they will ask you they'll take you to the highway and there they will ask you to merge with the traffic and then they will make you drive on the highway and even in the city also that's why that test takes longer so the main difference between the G2 and the G is that and G2, you can drive on the highways, but you cannot drive uh, outside Ontario on the freeways. And in G, you can drive anywhere in the US, in outside Ontario, Ontario, outside Ontario, wherever you want to. So G is a full driving license as compared to G2. It comes with full driving license, but with some restrictions. Yeah. Yep. So now, um, how to prepare? Yeah. So... The thing is that, first of all... So, we divide into two categories. One is if you are back from your country with no driving experience. And setting, second category is if you are back from your country with good amount of driving experience. So, he means to say that, say for example, I had the driving license for the two-wheeler and the four-wheeler, but I didn't have much Little experience. experience. Like, hardly any experience, but just because I had the driving license extract. So I became eligible to appear for G2 or G whichever way you want. Directly. But some people waiting. are there who drive frequently in their country and they are experts. Yeah. So um, depending on your experience, you can decide yourself for what you want to go because back in India, the driving is all left hand side of driving but here in canada it's you have right to follow side right side and you have yeah. to follow each and every rules and regulations like strictly when there is a stop I sign know. and there's no one like around you still you have to stop like yeah and you cannot drive you can bumper to bumper car right you, you have, have to, to maintain, maintain a distance <laughs> at least the rear view uh, the rear uh, wheels should be visible that much distance needs to be maintained when there is no snow but when there is snow then you have to dis more, uh, maintain more distance because when you apply brake it won't stop like even if you have winter tires it yeah. won't stop like you know reaction time will be less as compared to when there is no snow yes so now coming to the uh, classes part the instructors are available here they will lure you into the packages that okay we'll make you clear the exam just because the classes are pretty expensive here when you go for the g2 driving classes then it will cost you around 35 dollars per class 
and if you go for the G, then it will cost you around forty dollars. But is before that, rate. guys, before that, when you call them and you know try to inquire about it, they'll tell you, okay, we have a package. So what is the package? What is included in the package? Package is like they'll charge you with some three hundred to three fifty dollars, or maybe four fifty dollars. That depends uh, from the institute to institute, and then they will tell you that okay, we'll make you clear it. We'll take you outside the city, and then you take the test, and you know what. what is included in that complete package the classes the 20 hours of classroom training mm -hmm. and then the 150 dollars from 90 to 150 here's a big thing which i want yes, to tell you yeah which they will charge you for taking you all the way outside uh, your area like there are various areas they'll like take you to outskirts where outskirts. there is less traffic and uh, why they are charging outskirts one here mean oshawa oakville Gulf. Yes, Gulf. Some places like far distance where you yes. won't even you know have heard of it because uh, traffic is less over there and it's easy, comparatively easy driving over there because here if you are driving in the main city and you are giving your test in the main city, um, you will obviously commit a little bit more mistakes. You know, chances are more as compared to if you go out when there's no traffic, there's very little bit of traffic and two three cars you can see, you'll be able to drive comfortably. Yeah, but the catch is that personally for me i also you know got uh, into the trap almost got but afterwards somebody suggested which was a very nice i suggested no he didn't he, it was the instructor <laughs> so he suggested that instead of going for the g you should go for g2 because you don't have uh, any kind of experience back from your country and anyways you have to drive within the city what if you clear your exam outside the city yes. how you will gain the confidence to drive on the road this is so like literally I nonsense they just you know <laughs> make you to fall in trap of getting the packages and all that so that you can clear your g and uh, g2 or whatever and after that when you are in the real time situation when you are driving in a city and you are you know you have cleared your test when you have gone outside when there is less traffic then it will be a problem for you right yeah. because you haven't practiced practiced a lot in the city you have practiced just outside doesn't make sense one more catch is there when you are holding the g1 license then you can uh, start driving only along with an experienced yeah. g or g2 driver g2 driver who has at least four years four years of experience in driving or the complete g license holder so you know initially when you come here so everybody is not that lucky that they have their relatives here or they have their siblings here who have already prior four years of experience and they'll teach them and then you can take the car and blah blah so blah. So you have to rely on yeah. the instructor, right? You have to shed money out of your pocket, yes. book their time. So better, uh, it's uh, go, you know, per hour classes, pay 35, 40 dollars according to the area where you live and uh, go and hit the roads and experience the joy of driving in okay. Canada. So now coming <laughs> to my personal exam. Okay. Okay. Let me ask question. So you cleared G two, right? Yes. How many attempts you gave to okay, clear your G two? Okay. I tell them everything. Okay. So it's like. I'm not making fun. I'm just saying because. Because he <laughs> he cannot do that because he is just a G one holder. So he cannot even do that. It's short of time, guys. No, he is lazy. So it's like. Um, I have taken G2, honestly, I have taken it thrice. I passed in the third attempt. Yes. Because in the first attempt. I messed up while taking a right turn. You are allowed to take a right turn on, the on a red six. light. Mm -hmm. The condition being that the upcoming traffic from the left hand side, that traffic should not be there just because they have the right of way. If you think that you are not comfortable in taking the right uh, on the red light, then you may wait and just uh, let the uh, pedestrians and the upcoming traffic pass and then you can take a right turn on the red light. In attempt I drove very fine everything um, you know everything went well. So the initial 10 to 15 minutes of the driving test went really fine that's what she meant. Yeah and then when once I entered the plaza where the ex test center was and there and I was like oh my god I passed I passed you know what that person made make me do he was like you know now you do need to do the reverse parking just uh, you know in um, just beside the car and he was so particular I asked him actually that uh, means can I park it somewhere else so he was like no no you have to park there only and mm. then just because I had not practiced my reverse parking <laughs> I messed up mm. 
So this can happen and uh, examiners are very particular about wherever you look, if you are very observant or not, if uh, you are giving the proper signals and everything. So you have to take care of all these and things. And you know what, all these things are important because uh, cars are coming uh, in so much of speed that sometimes if you are not um, you know vigilant and sometimes when you are not looking or uh, vigilant about your surroundings it may happen that yeah. you may get into collision because of your own uh, carelessness so it's for your own safety and the third attempt which she gave nah, it all went fine i was like okay everything i did fine and my parkings and everything i did <laughs> so finally by god's grace i cleared it so it's all all the experience guys uh, now she says that gladly that great that i failed in the first and second attempt that she knows her mistakes well and obviously she won't repeat that so that is the advantage you get if you uh, give the exam in a city and yeah. uh, you are you know you know your mistakes you've been through that and now it's good yeah so guys even if you fail once or twice i know you have to shed another 59 dollars every time you book your exam but trust me it's going to be worth it because it will uh, make you save more money in terms of your insurance because if you drive on the road safely and you don't have uh, any history related to getting a ticket or getting into some collision then your insurance goes down every year and once I think five or six years pass then your insurance cost is just like 90 or 100 dollars which is initially it which could be up to three fifty dollars initially so that's why driving safely is very important in canada now guys the category two which was i uh, talking about that if you have good amount of experience from your back country you just come here take one or two classes from the instructor know about the rules and regulations observe everything yes. and i think it'll be good for you you don't have to take all the way the packages and all that stuff yeah. right you can um, you can take few of the classes just and even uh, one that. more suggestion if you people are you know confident enough in two to three classes and you have money constraint uh, you know a little bit of that so you can just rent a car yeah. once or twice and you can practice it not you know in the peak traffic or something but you can practice it nearby to your house uh, i because personally don't <laughs> suggest that because uh, that may be risky, but if you are confident, then you may do that. Because here, this thing doesn't happen that you ask your friend or relative that, yeah. hey, can you give me your car to drive? It's not possible at all because... because, because <laughs> Insurance, um, you know, if you have to drive a car, that car should be insured under your name. Yeah. Otherwise, in case, God forbid, you get into a collision, then the insurance company is not going to give you a single penny. <laughs> then you have to pay money from your own pocket and which hurts <laughs> which really hurts because here the maintenance cost the repair cost is much 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 more yes maybe than. you might not be paying that much for your car in, uh, car uh, yeah. mortgage but you may be paying more than that for your but insurance. that's all um, we want you guys to be aware of but be sure you come here uh, get a good instructor which you're comfortable with if you want to enroll in package try to negotiate get a good package so that you get everything all classes uh, facility to go and appear for the exam and everything if you are not comfortable because you don't know right how the instructor is going to teach you go and take um, you know for our base classes learn driving and clear your exam yes and the rest of the things how we got the car how we shortlisted the car how we got the insurance how we negotiated on that everything we'll cover in the other videos we'll make two separate videos for that and that's it for now and and let us know the voice is good <laughs> exactly and do let us know if you have any questions or comments leave it in the comment box and make sure you subscribe yes Subscribe. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have a good time. Have a good weekend. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.